Good guys, so let's do some applications of these mechanical uh, energy equation. It's time to do exercises, but we're going to apply the theory before. So if we lose when I, I want you to have this very clear. If we lose one species, it's because other one is gaining. So for example, if you lose this pressure, you either gain it here or lose it here or even gain this and so on. So the thing is, this stuff is constant. The value you found in the left should be exactly the same in the right. Okay. So if I lower this amount of value, I will lower this amount of value. Let me show you some very special cases. The first case will be when PA and PB, the pressures, cancel each other. It's kind of common. This happens when you have open reservoir, for example, the atmospheric pressure here. And whatever you do, you finish and you throw away the water here. And this is also atmospheric pressure. So the final pressure and the initial pressure is the same. So they cancel each other. Mm. The case in which velocity cancel each other or the velocities are the same is, for example, this case. The transport here. First case, both are static reservoirs, so the velocities by definition are zero. And a more interesting case will be having a, a change of pipes for, here, for example here, and then they become equal or a whole pipe. So if you make a balance here, A, and here goes B. The diameters are the same, therefore the velocities are the same. Velocity of A equals velocity of B. So if you make that to the square, well, you're going to have exactly the same values and you can cancel each other. Now the height, or you want to use CA and CB, may cancel each other only in one case, when both heights are the same. So C of A is exactly the same of that of C of B. So this go away and this go away. Nice one. So essentially I just wanted to show you that before going to the actual examples. But just be sure always to cancel the correct terms and of course this you will get it with a lot of practice. I could tell you a lot of theory but won't make sense until you start using the equation, uh, doing problems, answering, solving, thinking and so on. So this is what I told you before. Well, there's also a special case. We have some pressurized tanks. And this tank tells you is three atmospheres absolute and this is two atmospheres gauge. Well, this will be three absolute and they have the same pressure so you can cancel them. Okay, okay, same pipe diameter and same height. Perfect. Now you can have examples in which pressure of A drops and because of this drop velocity of B increases. You could also have there's an increase of pressure on A and you will increase the friction due to this. You have more pressure therefore you will have more uh, let's say increase on this. And you could have mm, a lot of examples, decrease of V, decrease of V, not changing friction, a decrease on pressure, a decrease in velocity, and so on. But once again, guys, I prefer you to do the examples rather than just thinking on cases. This is going a little bit too abstract, so let's go to an actual example. Let's check out Bernoulli's Law and do an example. So see you in the next this was a free preview. You want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward, uh, user-friendly interface. So for instance, you were analyzing or studying pumps. You have it here, the pump block. And then you have the sections. If you were, for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here. And you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here.
if you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.